looking at another nursing facility. Got a few issues. I'm gonna have to take a look at all the exhausts. Make sure they're all working. Something's wrong with it. One exit in the corner. And I'm pretty sure this guy's going out. Around 67 degrees outside. All right, here we have a 100% uh, outside air unit. They're using it as makeup air since they do have a lot of exhaust. It's nice when they do the paperwork with the unit. I disconnected the reheat coil. So we have uh, your compressor, your oil separator, I believe that's your reheat, hot gas bypass, accumulator, uh, it's got a speed, uh, speed controller for the fan. Right now it's bypassing and I have a pretty low suction. If it bypasses. So I'm gonna go and look at the indoor unit. I'm pretty sure there's a loose belt, a broken belt. So just look for the obvious signs first. I should have got inside first, but uh, I'm going to the maintenance get a see <laughs> like you got to go to the That's mounted on the supplier. Here's the makeup air unit. Here's the electric heaters. It's your outside air.
clutches in there and check the pressures again. Got the two system shovel shooting. We got that dude over there. Uh, dirty filters, all on charge, all on charge. I'm gonna gas it up and come back and find the leak because I still have to come back with all the uh, four exhaust motors. Good times. This one is pretty, pretty low. Probably shouldn't guess and go, but they said they need cooling right now. This is uh, pressure intake, exhaust, another fresh air. A little bit about the sequence of operations on this Addison outside air unit. I don't know everything, but I try to read as much as I can. Anyways, this unit has an outdoor thermostat it's set at 60 degrees so whenever the temperature is above 60 degrees it will energize your compressor contactor your outdoor fan motor the liquid line solenoid and your hot gas bypass solenoid the indoor blower motor is a continuous operation it's always bringing in outside air it's designed to bring in 95 degree outside air. And according to the paperwork, it will, your Delta T for those conditions will be around 30 to 40 degrees across your coil. So say you're bringing in a hundred degree air, you'll probably be getting 65 degree air coming out. Whenever the temperature outside drops, your suction pressure will drop. So when the suction pressure drops below 115 PSI, the hot gas bypass valve will start to bypass hot gas directly into the evaporator coil in front of the expansion valve. And it'll try to maintain a suction pressure above 95 PSI to keep the coil from freezing. This unit also has hot gas reheat. Basically, it has a sensor in the discharger supply air set at 65. So, if the supply air temperature drops below 65 degrees, it will energize the reheat coil. And basically, you're cooling and heating at the same time. It has two separate coils in the air handler your regular evaporator coil and then it's got the reheat coil so as air enters the evaporator the temperature drops then it goes across the reheat coil and temperature will rise and it'll try to maintain a supply air above 65.